Hey everybody, how you doing today? We have a big day ahead of us. We're going on a hot date with the wizard to look at some stars. And we're gonna get married today. I'm so excited. Oh shit, what is this? Oh fuck! Tell me all about it. Hi, Dan. She's pretty cute. Go for it. All right. Cute. I didn't know that was going to happen today. I already got this, didn't I? We stopped at kind of a weird point last time, so I just need to take care of my field. And then, uh, we'll move on to the next day. Why are my chickens out? Yeah, I remember ending kind of abruptly last time. I don't think I felt good. But we should be good to go today. I had an eventful day. Um, for some reason work only scheduled me for like three hours. Which was weird to begin with. And then person who was supposed to close um, straight up just didn't show up for work. So they were like, hey, will you close? I said, fuck no. Oh, am I one short? No. Perfect. Um, yeah, so I said, no, I need to leave. Because you know what? It's not really... Like, I help out whenever I can, but it's not my fault that this person just didn't show up. You know, and I had plans today. Hello? Oh, cool, my batteries just died. Sick, 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 sick. Let me get some more batteries, y'all. I literally replaced them ten minutes ago before the stream, and they just died. So give me one second. Okay, cool, we should be good now. Love that for me. Alright, back to work. But anyway, yeah, I was not about to stay by myself for a seven hour shift without a break. So I said, fuck that, and I came home. Yeah, I thought I was gonna have to stay and close up early, so that's why in Discord I was like, yeah, probably not gonna stream today. But then my coworker texted me and was like, oh, I can come in, my overtime got approved, so. Thank God for her. I feel bad that she had to come in, but at the same time I was like, kind of busy today. It's my anniversary tomorrow and I gotta get ready. Which is true. We're really not doing much until Wednesday though, because Joseph works tomorrow. But, I'm gonna stream at about 1pm Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna open some fucking Pokemon cards. I'm so excited for that. We have to try to figure out tonight how it's gonna work. Cause we don't... I, I mean my webcam is in my laptop so I'm gonna have to... 
MacGyver or something with it, but... We'll see. It should work. Okay, let's put our aminals away. And go to sleep. There we go. Okay. I wonder how we're doing with money. I'll check after tonight. I have written down how much we need to make by the end of winter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, how much do we make? We need 237,955 total gold in our farming category. So hopefully we'll be close. Let me see. Oops. 183, huh? Really not doing too good. Not doing too good at all. We might get a second field, actually. Uh, tomorrow. We have the money to spare, so might as well. I'm marrying the wizard. I'm very excited. We decided to marry him because, um, only he and the Harvest King don't have rivals, so this way all the rivals could get married. Oh, well you'll see him today. We're going on a date with him tonight. It's the Starry Night Festival. Oh, an empty can! Fuck yeah! Best item in the game! Thanks for the garbage. I really wish the animal products were not counted separate from your crops. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, let me read this description. Useless garbage. Toss empty cans into the trash. Thanks. Here's your breakfast, my babies. Gotta give everybody their morning snuggles. Alright. I think... I think if we get our second plot, that, that'd... guarantee us hero rank at the end of the month so that we can finish the main story. And then really it's just waiting for our kids to grow up. What am I doing? Perfect. Cool. There you go, buddy. <clears throat> I 
I think I'm gonna go to Harmonica Town first to try to give everybody their gifts because they might not be out there later. Oh, we got one. Just put you in there. So let's go do that. And then we'll come back and water our crops, and then we'll go to the forest, and then we just kind of have to hang around the field until it's time for the festival. I wish I had thought of getting a second plot yesterday, but I did not, so... Hopefully two days won't fuck us up too bad. Nobody's out here yet. Let's go say hi to the wizard. My betrothed. Hey, dude. Yes, it is. Oh, shit. I think there's a motion control thing. And my, uh, where even is my sensor bar? It's over there. Let me move that real quick. Put you there. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll manage. Hello. Maya's not out yet. Is Luna out? Yes, she is. Good morning. She is so close to seven hearts. Yeah. Just a few more gifts. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day and that you had a good weekend. Wedding time! Yes, Dewey! I'm so glad you can make it. It's gonna be a little while. But definitely today we're getting married, so help me God. I'm so glad that I did not have to stay at work like I thought I was going to. Because I was so bummed I wasn't going to be able to stream. You're, n you're barely late, you're fine. <laughs> Fucking kitty mittens 420. So stupid. Where are all my friends? Yeah, I really don't like OBS. So I feel your struggle. I don't know, I don't- I watch my VODs back usually and I haven't had that issue with the video. Well, I don't use a webcam, so maybe that's why. But I've never had my game capture not, like, stutter like that, so. Kathy. Oh, shit, she might be at Flute Fields. God damn it. Yeah, I hope it does fix it. It's not, like that bad. I mean, the audio doesn't stutter at all, so it's, you know, it's fine. I understand why you're annoyed, obviously, but as a viewer, it doesn't bother me all that much. 
Yeah, fuck. Alright. Yeah, that's valid. Your stream was so fun last night. I don't remember what you were saying, but you were making me laugh really hard. Maya, please. I need to give you yams. Oh, I feel that, yeah. My mom. My parents take pictures of us a lot. My mom mostly is the reason we do. And uh, they make a calendar every year of pictures of me and my brother to send to family. Some of them are pretty rough. Some of my faces are pretty rough in this. It's not that bad because I'm like used to it. They've been doing it since I was born, so it's not like that annoying. It's really just on holidays and our birthdays and stuff. We take pictures, but and if we go on vacation, which we haven't in over a year, but I feel that, do we? My brother and I, for the first day of spring, we do like an egg hunt and stuff like that. You know, it's very much like Easter for us. And uh, there's this giant egg, like the size of my head, that uh, my parents hide and they fill it with candy, like fill it to bursting with candy and gummies, and nerds rope, and like, chocolate rabbits, and all that good shit. And, uh, we've- t <laughs> my brother and I have this new tradition the past few years where we each put half of it on our heads for the Ostara picture. So that's been fun. But yeah. Candy egg, candy egg. <laughs> yeah. It's- I don't know why we started doing it, but... Maya, I'm giving up on you, girl. It's been several hours. You'll get your yams tomorrow, I guess. Anyway, yeah. That's- that's a new thing we do now. It's so fun. Um... I think I may have talked about it briefly, but we do, um... Cascaronis, which is an eggshell filled with glitter that you paint on the outside of. And we draw names, and the person we get, we decorate it specific for them, and then you're supposed to, like, send good wishes to them and break it over their head. They're so fun to eat. They're a little, like, it, it's, a, it's a very precise craft. You have to basically poke a hole on either end of the egg and it can't be too small and it can't be too big and then you <laughs> you take one end of it put it over a bowl or something and you blow inside of the egg to push all the guts out and uh you have to let it you have to rinse it with water and then let it dry then you fill it with glitter which you need some kind of funnel or something for sure and then uh you paint it. That's the fun part. Me and my dad and my brother always fill it with so much fucking glitter. And it's the meanest thing because it's in your hair for days. And it's on your clothes and it gets in your bed. Like, no matter how many times you shower, it's in your hair for like a week. But I had to work this Ostara. Like, later in the evening. And I looked at the two of them and I was like, don't fuck with me this year. Go easy on me, because I have work that day. Oh, I did forget a... Oh, no, 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 that's the one I picked today. And my dad got me and he, he did go easy on me. He went light on the glitter this year. But it was a lot of fun. 
But me and my brother are cutthroat with that egg hunt. Like, we don't fuck around. We are there to win. This is the first year in many, many, many years that he got the giant egg and I didn't. And I was pissed. It was early in the morning. It's like 7 a.m. I barely got any sleep. And I'm just fuming I wanted that egg. But the thing is, it's filled with so much candy. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, Dewey. But it's filled with so much candy that there's bound to be stuff in there that you don't like. So we always share it with each other anyway. But still, it's the it's the pride. It's the it's the bragging rights that I like. He did keep the nerd's rope. I was pissed. I wanted that nerd's rope. But it was super fun. Oh, but Joseph did not do well in the egg hunt. I feel bad for him because, you know, me and my brother have like over a decade of practice, almost two decades of practice, right? And Joseph's family did not do Easter eggs, so... He did pretty poorly. He also can't fucking see and he had gotten like three hours of sleep, so... Not, not totally his fault. Alright. We'll go get our mushroom from the woods, and then it's time to vibe until the festival. Oh, he was pissed, Dan. He was, he was not having it. He got a lot of candy and stuff, though, in his basket, so it's okay. He got donuts. There's this place near us, uh, like a few towns over, called Bill's Donuts, and they're open 24 hours a day. The other day we went and got, uh, like, a dozen donuts for, like, six bucks at one in the morning. We're gonna watch it on Thursday, I think. Because Lorraine's off work. I work... I think I closed that night, but we could do after I get back. Dude, I miss Wood Bakery back home. They had cookies and stuff. And baklava. Oh, shit. That's the first place I ever got baklava, and it was so good. Yeah. It, I don't know if this was, like, a thing when you went. I don't know how long ago you went. There's this place called Stan's Donuts. And, like, fuck my friends and family. That is what I miss the most <laughs> about Chicago. That's not true. But, like... It was so good. It was so expensive because everything in Chicago is. But they had these big, at, like as big as your hand donuts. And they were these flavors. Like, they had a Nutella donut. They had a Nutella banana donut. They had a Captain Crunch donut. Um, and this was a thing, like, it, it felt relatively new when we moved, like, when we were living there. So I don't think it was around when you went. But... Oh my god, do I miss it. The the chocolate, like, sauce they put on top of these donuts, because it's not icing, it's like, smooth, smoother than icing. And, uh, it's the only place that, like, I would just get plain chocolate-covered donuts, because it was so delicious. It tasted like brownie batter, that's what it tasted like. But they were heavy, heavy, heavy donuts. And the ones at this place, Bill's, um, they're so light and fluffy, but they're still, like, they're giant and they're filling. And they're, like, 50 cents a pop for just plain glazed. So fucking good. And it's, like, the only place you can get Prairie Farms chocolate milk, which is the best chocolate milk. That and the army base. The, I'm sorry, the Air Force Base, are the only two places you can go get that brand of milk. And I can't go on the, uh, 
Air Force Base anymore because my I'm no longer dependent. Dude, donuts are lit. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oberweiss. Fuck yes, Oberweiss. We had an Oberweiss, like, around the block from our apartment in Chicago. It was like an ice cream shop, but you could also buy the gallons of milk. Oh my fucking god, it was so good. I would go and get, like, chocolate ice cream with hot fudge and marshmallow sauce on top. It was so good. I miss it. I miss I miss that a lot too. Just being able to walk. Like not even five minutes and go to this ice cream place. With these like fresh waffle cones. I got like the bowl, like the waffle bowl. And it was still warm. That's how fresh they were. There's really no ice cream place like it. Like, I have never been anywhere like Oberweiss. Oh my god. I forgot about that. Dan, why'd you remind me? Fuck. And cheesies. I miss cheesies so much. It's on Belmont. Anybody who ever goes to Chicago, I recommend. Cheesy's on Belmont. It's a grilled cheese restaurant. And when we lived there, all they had on the menu was grilled cheese. I would get one called the Frenchie. And it had three kinds of cheese on it. One of which was like a liquid cheddar sauce french fries chives and chopped bacon like bacon bits on texas toast and it was so fucking good and i have been chasing that high that that sandwich gave me ever since we moved because see that's the thing dan like i'm not a big ice cream person but i will just crave Oberweiss. But yeah, I miss um, Wood Bakery back home a lot. They had those little, like, tiny sugar cookies with the little rainbow sprinkles on them. Those were my favorite. That and just, like, the plain baklava were the best things I ever got there. I know you do. Shut up. I used to live down the street. I lived like five minutes away when I lived there. God, I remember Sydney from high school, won't say her last name, um, would sometimes just like pick some up on the way to school and share with me, like just grab a dozen for like five bucks. Fucking love it. Their donuts were really good, too. I do think Bill's are slightly better. Damn it. Now I'm so hungry. <laughs> for, like, junk food. Joseph got me- I'm on my period. Not to be, like... Not to... You know, share too much information on stream. But... I'm on my period, something fierce, and Joseph got me a shit ton of Reese's Cups. So I'm gonna dive into that after the stream. Hamilton, fuck off! What are you doing? You wanna fucking go? Do you wanna throw down? Because I will, Hamilton, you old bitch. I will lay you out. Look at this guy! What a fucking fight, dog? He was just trying to stand exactly where I was standing. 
bitch. Good god. I'm still shiny hunting in Pokemon Sword a whole bunch. I'm still trying to get a Wulu. And it is taking me the longest to get that one. I don't know why. The other ones I got... I got one... I averaged out at like 200 eggs at most. Like if you were at like 150 or less and one was at 400 or so. But this fucking Wooloo, I'm at 700 eggs, and I still haven't got one. Shiny Pokemon, Dan, are a, are a color variant. So, for example, the Wooloo Pokemon that I'm talking about is a sheep that has white wool and, like, a black face. But the shiny version has black wool and a white face. So it's just, like... So a super, super rare color variant of normal Pokemon. Um, what's another example? Like, like a shiny Charizard is fucking black, and it's sick as hell. So I'm probably going to get one of those, too. But there's a there's a 1 in 4,000 Charizard's in a lot of the games. Almost all of them, I would say. I mean, he's a Gen 1 Pokemon, so... He's in, um... He's shiny in every game. All the later games. You know, like, not the ones that are black and white, obviously, but... Yeah, it's sick as hell. It's hard as fuck, though, to get, because... Okay, let me break it down for you. So there's a 1 in 4,000 and something chance that you will get a shiny Pokemon. In either the wild or hatching an egg. And then when you get your shiny charm, which they introduced in the later games for when you complete your Pokedex, you get a shiny charm. That drops your chances down to 1 in 1,000. Or increases your chances, rather. To 1 in 1,000 or so. And then, oops, my alarm's going off. And then, um... There's this method called the Matsuda method, which is what I do, where if you have um, a Pokemon from your region, which is America in my case, and a Pokemon from a different region, such as Spain, Japan, Germany, etc., that drops your- that increases your odds to 1 in 500 or so. 500 to 600. So, I think 512 is the exact number in Sun and Moon. So I don't know what it is in Sword and Shield. So that's what I do, is I surprise trade people. I just like- that's when you send out a Pokemon, you get a random one back from someone online. And uh, if I get, you know, a Japanese Charmander, then I keep it, and I breed it with my Ditto until I get a shiny one, and then I level it up to a Charizard. Um, so, that's what I'm doing right now. It's relaxing, I'll just put something on TV and... Oh my god, this music. <gasps> Boyfriend. My betrothed. It is cold outside, and I'm in a mini skirt. Oh fuck, the mini game. I'm gonna do so bad because my sensor bar is in a weird place. Yeah, there's lots of emulators, but not for the more recent ones. There is actually Citra you can play 3DS games on. I would get Sun and Moon. It's lit. 
Might be hard to find an emulator for it, though. Oh my god. Okay. Wanna be popular. Oh, cool, it's not motion control. Oh, fuck. Damn it! If I had gone up instead of down, I would have gotten it. I would, Daniel, I would get a fucking switch and I would get sword and shield and play with us. Because there's a bunch more Pokemon games coming out for it that look super cool. All right. That was cute. I wish we had gotten our wish, though. All right, so tomorrow we'll go get our plot and plant a shite ton more flowers. We don't have any fertilizer over there, but that doesn't matter for the flowers. They're all the same quality. They just won't grow as fast, which is okay. Hi, Dewey. We were just talking about shiny hunting, and we had a little date with our wizard buddy. Buddy. We're engaged. You know what I mean. And we're about to go to bed. This music is so good. I love this game. Yeah, I wish I could help you get the legendary. That was the big one I needed, and my friend from work traded it to me. Um, Joseph got shield recently, and he said he would give me Zamanzenta once he beat the game, or I might make a profile on his Switch and just beat the game and give it to myself. And then I would trade it back and forth with you so you get the Pokedex entry. But that would that's probably going to take a hot minute. Because I would have to play the whole fucking game again. He's having me breed him a bug team. So that level one, like he can have all these bugs at level one and then level them up. Hell yeah. That's a good idea, yeah. He wants to have different Pokemon than he did when he played it the first time. So he wants me to- he wants me to get a fucking Heracross for him. That's one of those ones that has like a 5% spawn rate. So I'm like, I don't know about that. I'll do my best. Yeah, I know. He- he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't want that. Which is fine. I don't mind. Because you can just trade eggs, so... Alright, give me something good today, please. No more trash. Alright, now we're talking. Alright, we have a lot to do today. We got a lot of money, so yeah, I think expanding our farm would not hurt. We got the money for it, so whatever. I gotta make some jam. Give my babies their pets. Oh, 
Joseph and I are watching The Mandalorian again also. We're going through Star Wars in chronological order. We are skipping the animated shows and movies. Because we just- we tried watching Clone Wars, the series, we just did not get into it. Got a couple seasons in and I just like- I couldn't tell you what happened. I got no clue. It was so boring to me. But I know it gets good because people love that show and just- I don't have the patience. But we're watching Mando again. And that's- I've said it before and I'll say it a hundred more times. That is my favorite Star Wars thing. Out of all the shows and movies, it's my favorite. It's so fucking good. I'm also 100% in love with Pedro Pascal. Fuck yeah. Love Baby Yoda. Love fucking Daddy Pedro. Don't care for the transphobes on that show, but other than that, it's great. I know the one bitch got fucking fired. She was gonna get a spin-off. She was gonna get her own Star Wars spin-off show. And she had to go and be fucking bigoted and ignorant on the internet. Get herself fired. It's pretty great. I'm glad she's gone. That's- <laughs> There was this post on TikTok. That was like, what's something that feels gay and homophobic at the same time? And it was her character from Mandalorian. But yeah, I'm really happy to be watching that show again. I don't know. I'm kind of excited to watch the That sucks, Daniel. I would I would offer you to give you our login, but it's my parents' login. So, I'm not going to do that. But You got to finish Mando. The fucking finale, I was inconsolable. It's so good though. But I was weeping. So good, though. And I know I'm gonna cry just as hard when we get there the second time. We watched the whole... ...series in like a couple days. Both seasons. Cause I was waiting till it like a bunch was out so I could binge it and I wasn't like... I'm not super super like religiously into Star Wars. Yeah, what are you watching, Dewey? Dan over here is our resident weeb, so... Nice. I'm not a big anime watcher myself, but I'm very into Zombieland Saga and Promise Neverland. Although, Promise Neverland, Joseph and I haven't watched the new ones, like the last two episodes, because we're just so emotionally exhausted <laughs> watching that show. It's so good, though. We really love it. I know a lot of people are pissed because it's it cut out a big storyline out of the anime, or out of the manga, rather. But I didn't read the manga, so I kind of don't give a shit, and I'm going to keep watching it. But I get why people are upset. That would upset me, too. Let's go to the woods really quick. Oh, no, because I need to get seeds. So I'll wait. One Piece is fucking bananas, dude. I'm never gonna watch that show. Too many episodes, and I don't like how the women look on it. It's fucking nuts. We need to finish 
Ultra Despair Girls dance, you can watch that terrible, terrible anime. That's fair, Dan. The Danganronpa anime is so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Well, yeah, that's the thing, is we're four people with full-time jobs now. So it's hard to coordinate a day that we're all off. And Lorraine's schedule's all fucked up, because she's a nurse, our friend Lorraine. Yeah, Dewey, that's very much how I feel. Is this new dialogue, my guy? Alright, that's a little... Boys can like those things too, Luna, don't be ignorant. I'm sure the fight scenes are lit. I do not deny that. There you go, Dewey. Equality, that's what we need. Come on, Luna, seven hearts, please. Kathy. Oh yeah, this sad shit about her dad being too scary to teach. Yeah, I'm big mad at Monster Hunter. Aw, I'm in love with her dad, honestly. Hayden? I'd bone down Hayden. That- it's rough. Like, right now I've got... The, uh, what's the big bird? Like, the first big bad you fight. I don't know what's fucking- I'm so bad with the monster names and that they all sound too similar. But this big, like, crane thing, Joseph and I fought it a couple times last night. And, uh, I've got the... Like, the boots, the- the gauntlets, and the helmet. No, it's a new one, I think, Dan. I don't know. I, I'm i not familiar with a lot of the previous games. This cat is clipping into the stair. Oh. It's like a big crane with this huge crest on its head. Kind of gives me dinosaur vibes. But anyway, so it's a mini skirt. All the armor so far that I've had is a mini skirt. And uh, right now I don't have the, like, legs skirt or otherwise right now. And I was not listening to what she said. So I don't have anything. I've got the shoes and then I've got like the normal one up top. And straight up my panties are just out. Like my butt is out. And I'm so sick of it. I was really hoping this game would be better about that. Because it doesn't even give you the option. Like give me the option of full coverage armor. That's all I'm asking for, is the option. And not if you pick a fe- Because it says, pick your, like, style. Like, it wasn't like, pick a man or pick a woman. It was a little more abstract. Which is cool. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, we're moving in the right direction. And uh, you could have any voice, hairstyle, etc. No matter what you picked. And I thought that was awesome. But still, if you pick, you know, a feminine- preset to start with. You're stuck with this shit armor and I'm tired of it! What self-respecting warrior would wear this shit? So that's my only issue with the game so far, <laughs> but it's one I've had with the other two games I've played. Excuse me, Anissa. Excuse me. And it's like... Even though it makes me really upset, the game is still good and the armor is still cool, all things considered. And so I'm gonna keep buying them and playing them. It's not... Alright. Someone edit him with a gun in his hand. Please. Yep. 
that's what I want. There goes all our money, bye bye. But anyway, like, it's not enough to stop me from playing the game. And, like, part of me gets it because, like, women hot. You know? So I get that. But it's it's the inequality of the thing where none of the men, like, none of the masculine armor looks like that. But seriously, that's my only complaint. Like, the rest of the game is fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm not doing too terribly. Like, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Joseph and I are gonna stream that on Wednesday. We're gonna fight some stuff together. When it's a choice, exactly. Like, I thought Skyrim was pretty decent with the armor. Like, you know, like, iron armor looked the same. There was the same amount of skin showing for both masculine and feminine characters. And... You know, like the bandit armor that's just a loincloth and your boobies are out was the same for men. Their chest was exposed and they had a little loincloth on, so... Like, I'm fine with that. Yeah, it is inherently misogynistic when it's the only option. And, like, there's some armor sets that are- or in Monster Hunter World, at least, there were some armor sets that weren't like that. But I stopped playing that game because, like, one of my favorite- like, the coolest looking monster to me, the armor was shit for women. And I was so disappointed I stopped playing it and I never started again. Because I was really hoping it would look cool. And it didn't. Alright, let's get our seeds. I didn't count how many I need. Let me look that up real quick. But yeah, Skyrim was pretty decent about that kind of thing. Harvest me. Aminol Parade. Who's following me on Twitter? Thanks. I think another game is super good is Bloodborne. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm shit at games like that, so I'm not even gonna attempt to tackle it, but love the door slamming. But yeah, I I've I've watched people play those games like um Dark Souls, Demon Souls, all that. And it seems pretty decent. Alright, let me see here. That's so valid. I'm like that with Joseph too, for sure. Like, there are- if I can't beat a level in like Mario Galaxy, I get him to come do it. River plot. But how big is it though? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to... Let's try crops. Does it tell me there? Have a plot of land where you can grow your plants. God damn it. Alright, you know what? I'm getting like 200 seeds and we'll leave it at that. That's fine. Yeah, I... am it's like the Let's Players I can watch guilt-free on YouTube keep going down by the day. So I'm just not really watching anybody right now. I still fuck with Achievement Hunter. Just not Ryan Haywood for obvious reasons. 
you see it? Oh no, do we? Yeah, go do what you need to do. Scott the Waz, I, I'm not familiar with his work. But I'm sure he's decent if you like him. Can I have a potato, please? Do you have a potato, please? Oh, I could buy grapes now. Alright, no potatoes. That's cool. I watch Vinny Vine Sauce. Um, mostly on YouTube after he streams. And uh, Ray Narvaez Jr. as well. I like them a lot. They have yet to disappoint me. But yeah, I like Achievement Hunter playing Trouble in Terrorist Town and Minecraft and... Um, I might start watching them play Among Us. I'm kind of late to that whole trend. But it seems entertaining to watch people play it. There you go. I- I trust the McElroys. I trust them with my life, and if any of them let me down, I'm gonna be devastated. <clears throat> oh, my voice gave out. I'm gonna be devastated. If any of them fuck up. There's very few men on this earth that I trust, but all four of them are on that list. Yeah. Yeah, as far- that's why I haven't played it, because I don't have enough people to play it with. Um. But if I did... If anybody wanted to, I don't know, collab, do we? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> that would be cool. Where the fuck is the exit? Hello? Oh, right in front of me. I I just avoid playing with random people in lobbies. Just, you know, bad experiences and all that. Yeah, dude, I would be down so hard if we... Yes, please. I would love to do that. I don't have, like, too many, like, streamer friends. Do we? You're really the only one that I'm, like... I would collab with you because I watch your content all the time and I know how you are. Dude, I would so do that. Yes. Let me look at my work schedule for next week. And maybe we could work something out. That would be lit. We gotta get Joseph in on it too. Oh, Dan? Yeah, I'd be down. We should for sure arrange this in the Discord. Because I would be- I- I love that. I would love to do that. Hell yeah. I don't know how many people is good. Like, a good number. I have a question for you, Dewey. Did I get the mushroom? I'm thinking about other things. I was wondering how interested you are in Dungeons and Dragons? Just out of curiosity. Or just tabletop games in general. That's valid. I haven't really played it extensively. Like, I've never played beyond, like, a few sessions. That would be lit. Like, Joseph- I am Joseph's second love. Alright, I'm his third love. Daniel is his second love. But his first love is D&D. Like, he reads those books for fun. Like, he just sits down- it's like a textbook to me. But he sits down, he just reads through them. He's running, like, two campaigns now. 
but um <laughs> yeah like he's super fucking into it so he would not mind dming either but i like it's like a big thing on twitch now like people doing D, &D streams or even just playing off stream would be fun too Yeah, I didn't know what how interested you would be in that, but wanted to put my feelers out there and see what you thought of the idea. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later, Dewey. Thank you for stopping by. Hope the whole car situation gets resolved soon. Yeah, Critical Role played a huge role in that. Pardon the pun. Um... Honestly, the adventures like that's a podcast, but that that brought my attention back to D and D personally, and a lot of others too, from what I've heard. Put you here. Put you here. Make some jam. Where's my hoe? I'm so happy I got a diamond. There was like a 5% chance of getting one, and I got one. Cool. Alright, let's plant all our flowers. I think I have enough. Maybe I don't, but I'll just order some more on the phone if I have to. Get rid of all this shit. Just a few more days to our wedding. Don't let me forget about all the crops over here, please. Because knowing me, I will forget to water them. Ten by what? I'm thinking I don't have enough. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so a hundred. I do have enough. Cool, cool, cool. is so entertaining to watch, I know. Hold your applause, please. I'm gonna be so pissed if we don't make Hero Ring. I really am. We should for sure buy Spring, at the very latest. We could plant strawberries by now, I think. And those regrow too, so... I think that would be good. Man, this is a lot of work. Man, I gotta keep an eye on my stamina. Yeah, I'm having a lot more fun with Monster Hunter Rise than I expected, honestly. Because I'm not super into fighting games. And that's all it is. It's just fighting bosses and nothing else. Um, but I'm... I shouldn't be that surprised because I got really into Monster Hunter World, too.
for a brief period. But I really like how easy it is to use multiplayer in this one. Alright, let me go take a quick dip in the hot spring. It's so much fun. Like, yeah, I'm really having a good time with it. Back to it. I'm so gonna forget about these flowers. They're all gonna die. We're almost done. This is so relaxing, though, in a weird way. I had such a stressful day at work. I was only there for like three and a half hours, but still, it was a lot to deal with. I was by myself the whole time, which is tough. But you know, I can handle it. It's just not pleasant. Why didn't you work? Alright. Now we just gotta water them. Shouldn't take too long with our upgrades. Oh, come on. Yeah, I was not about to stay late. I, I was willing to stay like an hour late and close up early because our anyone who just came in um, I work at a Starbucks in a grocery store and uh, our closer just like decided not to show up for work today so we had to cover her ass and she's been actually doing this quite a bit so it's getting a little annoying Like, she's worked there maybe two and a half months, and she's called off, like, at least seven times, if not more. I've called off three times in six months, and one of them was because I was snowed in and couldn't drive down my street. The other two, I was genuinely sick. See you in a bit, Daniel. You should be back by the wedding. It's still gonna be a hot minute before we get there. Yeah, this stream might be a little longer than the last one because... Now that I've got, you know, double the crops to water every day, my days are gonna take a little longer. I'm not just running around giving people presents anymore. Oh, 
awesome. Watering doesn't take that long, all things considered. Not compared to when I was a kid and I wouldn't upgrade my watering can. <laughs> that would take a long time. I am excited to just chill out tonight after stream. Justin and I are going to play a bunch of Monster Hunter when he gets off work. And until then, I'm going to play some Animal Crossing, because I haven't done that yet today. Might watch some more Mando, I don't know. We don't like- I don't like watching Mando when we, uh, play Monster Hunter, because Monster Hunter requires, like, all of our attention. We usually don't watch anything when we play that, because we gotta communicate where the monster is and stuff. My soda just made a weird noise. Alright. Our wedding is on the 16th. See? So that's where we're gonna get. And then I'm probably going to play all the way to the New Year's Festival off stream. Because it's just going to be boring, repetitive shit. Then we're going to probably see a couple of heart events by then. And uh, see some more people get married. Some people are going to have Kit. Someone had a baby. Oh! We now have a new member in the family. On behalf of my wife, I'd like to thank you for all that you've done for us. Our energetic new son's name is Van. Please stop by if you're in the area. Oh, I plan to. Oh, I can buy more vacation houses. Yeah, I'm not going to be buying any vacation houses. Thank you, though. something good all right that's just helping us get our hero rank let's see where we're at now definitely not much higher that's okay that's okay we need 237,955 gold in the farming category by the end of winter so send me well wishes please because that's going to be tough. And if we don't get there, we don't get there. It's hard in the winter with the crops available to you, so. At the very least, by spring, we'll get there. pets. So I think Renee and Toby should have a kid soon and Phoebe and Calvin should have a kid soon. I don't remember when um, Candace's baby was born but after like two weeks they're full grown I think and you get a little cutscene. Oh, I already did this. So that's fun. It's- the rival kids are so cute. I really love that part of this game. So I'm excited to unlock some more. Hell yeah. Look at Pedro working hard. Alright, now we gotta water our 
like 300 crops that we have. Okay. Oh, here we go. Make a little more moolah today. We have honey too. I hope that counts as a farming thing. That bee noise is so bad. Some more. It's good quality too. So I've got good soil. Okay. Let me keep working on this over here. I love that you can just mash A and it automatically picks up the crops nearby. Same goes for using tools. Gosh, I am sleepy. I stayed up really, really late last night playing video games, so. And then woke up at like 10.30 today for no reason. the soil quality is different, but that's why some of them grow at different speeds, which is so annoying to me. Y'all, I am so excited for tomorrow. I'm gonna open- I keep talking about it, so I'm sorry if you're here all the time and you've heard me say this a hundred times. Uh, Joseph and my anniversary is tomorrow. And he got me a shit ton of Pokemon cards, and I'm gonna open them on stream. He got me Shining Fates and Battle Styles. So I am super excited. I, sh I really hope I get some good pulls. It seems like Shining Fates does pretty good with rare cards. Like, I should at least get, like, one or two, right? I'm not big into, like, the trainer card. Like, I don't play the game, I just collect the cards. So, I probably won't be keeping the trainer cards and stuff. We are talking Pokemon cards, welcome! I'm gonna open some on stream tomorrow at about 1pm Eastern Standard Time. So you should swing by if you're interested. Shining Fates and Battle Styles. Oh, yeah, Shining, Shining Fates and Battle Styles. Um, my husband got me a whole bunch for our anniversary tomorrow, so I'm gonna open them on stream. I'm very excited. I also just recently... It is so hard. Like, he's- yeah, I'm surprised he got any at all. Um, he said he drove around to three different game stores. Like, local game stores. And, uh, got a few that way. It's insane. <laughs> like, you should- you should definitely watch tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be lit. Hmm. I'm gonna be short by like one seed. Cool. I'll just buy one really quick. Wow. Yeah. I'm just recently getting back into collecting them. 
Honestly, because Sugar Moth, Dewey, got me into it again. Because they were talking about it on their stream. Could the dog chill out? She's too hyped for the Pokemon cards. She's barking. But yeah. I was- I just- I love them anyway. So, I don't know. I just haven't bought any new sets in a long time. Um, but I also just traded some with a friend of mine, IRL. So I got some good first editions. I got a couple, like, hollows, legendaries and stuff. Um, hollow anti. Pretty excited for that one. Yeah, like, I've heard it's been pretty wild. I was not expecting any Shining Fates. I don't know how he managed. But I'm grateful. I'm very excited. I really- if I get- if I get one rare card at all, I hope it's the VMAX Alchemy. That's one of my favorite Pokemon from the new gen. So that's what I'm really hoping for. That's the only- I mean, I mean obviously, like, the Char- Charizard that's worth, like, $400. But other than that, that's- that's the one I'm really hoping for. Hey, Dan, welcome back. Talking about Pokemon cards again. But yeah, I had an Alchemy on my- on my team the whole playthrough of Sword and Shield. I have sword. Um. So yeah, she's she's one of my new favorites for sure. I like I like a lot of fairy types. Oh, you want to talk order organizing cards? Mine are in Pokedex order, and then if I have multiples of a Pokemon, they're in set order. So. That's gonna be fun to rearrange when I get a hundred or so new cards. Yeah, all the ones I just got from my friend, I haven't even put away yet. They're in penny sleeves right now because, I, like, I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, like, basically empty my binder and put everything back. Buy set makes a lot more sense, I'll be honest with you. I have OCD, so, like, for real. And so when my brain decides to do something, I really have no say in it. It just goes, yeah, we're gonna do it this way. This is the way we should do it. And I'm like, okay. If you fucking say so, my man. That's cute. Yeah, I, I got a whole bunch that I needed. From like of like first gen like I needed a Beedrill and I needed a Butterfree because I had the you know the pre-evolutions already but I just didn't have those and so I got those from my friend I traded her um a bunch of like black and white Pokemon like Pokemon sets there's like noble victories um was one of them. The Excadrill half deck was one of them that I had a few cards from. Uh, I'm so bad with the set names. Boundaries Crossed was one. Something Powers was another. I don't know. I had like a few cards from five different sets. That was from when my brother got- like, I've gotten Pokemon cards in batches, basically, where my uncle, when I was little, gave me some. So that's a lot of the, like, late 90s, early 2000 cards I have. And then when my brother was about that age, he got, like, a, a tin of them, you know? And, uh... He lost interest as he entered adolescence and just gave me all the cards he had. Which is awesome for me. 
So that's why I have like a bunch of early gen cards and then a bunch of black and white cards. Not much in between. Yeah, I have quite a few hollow legendaries now. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. I need to buy a second binder. Because mine only has, like... many like 36 slots left in it and I think that's already gonna be filled by the ones I got from my friend so I'm gonna need a second binder basically just for the ones I'm gonna open tomorrow I don't know what brand mine is it's um this really nice one with a Charizard on the front and I know they also make a Snorlax one Oh, it has a zipper. Mine does not. Mine has, like, the elastic band. Yeah, if you're- I don't- Budgie, I don't know if you joined our Discord, but we have a whole section, a whole channel in there where we just talk about Pokemon, so... That's been fairly active as of late. Got back into- shiny breeding and sword too. I just completed my decks finally after however many years, like two years, a year and a half. So. Yeah, you should totally join. Um, there's the commands in chat if I could get that to work. I'm gonna move all this shit off my keyboard. There. That link should work. You might need to copy and paste it into your browser, because sometimes the link itself doesn't want to work. But that should get you in. Just make sure you read the rules. You're already strapped in? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Hacker voice, I'm in. Hey, girl. Here's your pumpkins. Do you want to marry Gil yet? Or. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! She does! She's gonna get engaged! Holy shit! Holy shit, where do we go? Mare's house. Okay. Oh my god. This is such an exciting turn of events I was not expecting today. Alright, we gotta wait till 10 o'clock and then we can go do that. Let me go look at the baby! Oh. Punch my desk a few times first. Take a sippy sip of my soda here. This is such a casual conversation. Like, I'm one of your best friends, and you're just like, Hey, by the way, never told you I was pregnant, but I have a baby now. Here he is. Oh, that's so cute. I love Jin. I'm gonna marry him eventually, too. I'm working my way down the list of characters. Both genders. Just making my way through it. I think it's so hysterical how the characters hold babies in this. Where is he? Where's the baby? Oh, there's a whole upstairs? I've like never been in here. There's the baby completely... Like, just not being watched unattended. Like... <laughs> A floor up in the corner. What if he's crying? 
You're not gonna hear it. Yeah, the way you pick up your baby in this game is pretty funny. You pick up the dog more like a baby than you pick up the baby. Okay, Maya. Here you go. Boiled some yams for you. Okay, she's still at five hearts. She's gonna be the last one married for sure. Because I think Kathy is at six now, too. Where is Kathy? We didn't see Kathy. There she is! Hello! Looking beautiful as always. Here you go. What is she at? Let me check. Yeah, she's at six. Okay, she like just got to six hearts, so it's gonna be a minute before she gets engaged. Her event is at the bar. Let's say hello to our boy. Hey, boo. Yeah, I know. He keeps telling me about the main quest. I get it. He's the in-game tutorial walkthrough thing. We have to get hero rank in farming, Bef excuse me, before we can uh, finish the main story, so that's what we're waiting for. So he's gonna talk about it until we do that. It's go time. The dog is losing her mind out there. We've got like rabbits in our yard, so she's barking at him. Oh my god! Where did that come from? animation she's so cute why does everyone just have framed photos of cows it's a girl thing oh my god these proposals are so funny. This is so cute! Well, congrats, guys. I'll have to write down when their wedding is. I don't have my pen with me, do I? Oh, let's call our cow. What am I doing walking around like a, 
Like a peasant. I got a cow to ride on. So I can sell the rest of those pumpkins. That's nice. Oh wow, it's already 8 p.m. here. I don't usually stream all that late, but I had work today until 5.30, so... I'm trying to get an appointment to get my vaccine. And it is not going well so far. It, like, just opened up to my age group, so... I'm sure I'm gonna have to wait a little while. Alright, let's get rid of these pumpkins. I have not streamed Animal Crossing in a while. But I'm streaming Monster Hunter, this, and Breath of the Wild all at the same time, and then when... Um, Pokemon Snap comes out at the end of the month. I'm going to add that to the mix. So, I think that's plenty for the time being. You know what? I think Maya likes these too. How many yams do I have? I might be good. If I have like 14 at least, I should be okay. Because it's 7 per heart. Okay, so I should be covered. Alrighty, just a couple more days till our wedding! What time is it? Does not say. Did I write it down? Sure didn't. Well. I doubt that's gonna be missable. Oh hell yeah, that's what I like to see! Awesome. My god, we only have two more friends who have to get married. Alright, let me see when this is gonna be. Wedding invitation. Day two of spring. Let me drop my pen. Okay, wrote that down so I don't forget. What'd you give me? Spinch. The animals are so adorable in this game. If I ever did merch, which I'm sure I won't, because I don't think I'll ever get popular enough to do merch, I'm putting fucking Pedro on a shirt. So help me God. Pedro is like the channel mascot at this point.
Alright. Give them all their snuggles. Let's go check up on our number one girl. God, look how precious. Nice. Getting a lot of good animal products lately. Too bad that does not count towards our farming score. Let me take a look at that again. I obsessively check, like, how many hearts people have. Oh, shit! We only need, like, 35,000 more golds, which we should be able to get with the crops we have planted. Honestly. So we should be good to go for hero rank. We'll just keep selling flowers all season just to be safe. But still, that's reassuring because I was not sure we were going to get there. Alright, got one more to sell today. We'll go buy some more. or another seed, I guess. over here. Sweet. I know it's like double the price to order on the phone, but at this point I have so much money and the convenience is worth it. This is going to take a hot minute. Thank god we upgraded our watering can when we did. That makes this so much easier. It makes this manageable, period. I don't know what Pokemon to shiny hunt for after I get Wooloo. I want to get a Snom so I can get a Frostmoth. Charizard? I'm fucking might. Like, I'm really excited for that one. So I might, Dan. If you follow me on Twitter, I'm doing a thread on all the shiny Pokemon I hatch. So far I've gotten an Ice Q, a Drampa, and a Melodic. Wooloo's gonna be next, and then I guess I'll do Charizard after that. Might as well. I think I have a Charmander. Well, a lot of them are newer gen. Like, Ice Q is from Sword and Shield. Drampa is from Sun and Moon, I think? Maybe Black and White? I didn't play Black and White. That's the only one I haven't played. And, uh, Feebas and Melodic? You don't know those? Melodic's cool. You should look it up. Did I fuck up? No. The shiny one especially is very cool. No, it's just aesthetics. For sure. 
Yeah, it's the one Feebas evolves into. The big, like, sea serpent looking thing. That's the thing, when I open cards tomorrow, I'm absolutely gonna butcher all the names. I don't know how to pronounce any Pokemon names. Oh my god, one of the ones I got from my friend is like a chubby Pikachu card. Like, not first edition, but from the first set. It's hard. Like, I, I don't rem- I think in previous games you had to- level it up when its beauty stat was maxed out, but now you have to trade it with a specific item. Which would have been hard to do in the Game Boy 1. It's much easier on the Switch uh, to trade with people. But I think that was a recent um, update to its evolution. I don't think any of the other shinies I want are too complicated to evolve, thankfully. I think- you know what? I think I am gonna do Charizard next. I forget what some of the other ones I want to get are. I know there's a Jangmo -oh I want to get because the shiny is fucking pink and yellow and those are my two favorite colors. So obviously I have to get that one. Oh, fuck's sake, my cow's not working today. One thing that's disappointing is when a Pokemon you really like has a shitty shiny. Like, um, my favorite Pokemon is Skitty, and the shiny is just like a darker red. Like, it's just basically the same color, but a little bit darker. So I've, I don't care for that shiny very much. Um, same with Pikachu, where it's like slightly more orange, and it's so hard to tell the difference. Same with Charmander, like that one I'm gonna have to really keep my eyes on if it uh, does the little shiny thing when it hatches from the egg, because I won't be able to tell otherwise. There is a shiny everything. Shiny Typhlosion, I think, is brown instead of blue down its back. Pretty cool. I have one in another game, I think. Oh, I don't need to talk to Luna anymore. So we'll just go straight to Kathy. Yeah, every single Pokemon has shinies, even the legendaries. So basically what people do for that is they save before they encounter the legendary, and then they enter that battle over and over and over and over again until they get a shiny. Yeah, it does sound like hell. I have not done that. And probably never will. I really liked shiny hunting in the Let's Go games. Um, which is like a Gen 1 remake, basically, Dan. Uh, very good. I liked it. Some people don't like it, but I liked it a lot. I thought it was really cute. Um, but catching Pokemon worked more like Pokemon Go 
than traditional Pokemon games. And if you um, caught a bunch of them in a row, that would increase the chances for a shiny to spawn. So it, uh, and they spawned in the overworld. So you didn't have to, like, enter a random encounter. And, uh, that was pretty cool. So you had to get, you had to catch 31 of that Pokemon in a row. Um, or more. To encounter the shiny. I got a shit ton of shinies in that game. I got a shiny Ditto, which is, like, bubblegum blue. Like, cotton candy blue. Um... I got a shiny Lickitung, which I- or not Lickitung, but the Evolution. No, was it a Lickitung? One of the two. They creep me out, I don't like it. But it was a shiny, so I had to catch it, and it broke my chain for the Ditto. But then I caught that one anyway. Um... I don't know what else. I think I got a shiny Bulbasaur. There are people who- they have to hack these games, I don't know. But they'll basically, like, surprise trade a whole mess of shiny legendaries with, like, their website as the name. So I got, like, in a 30 minute time span, I got four shiny legendaries and two of them were the same one. And it's like, I'm not gonna go to your website, but thanks. For the Pokemon. So I have a whole bunch. I have a shiny Rayquaza. I have um, a couple shiny Latios and Latias. I have two shiny Xerneas and two shiny whatever the one from Pokemon Y is. I don't remember how to say it. Um... Amongst several- oh, shiny Deoxys. I think I have two of those. That I all got- I got all of those in Sun and Moon. I got a lot of shinies traded to me in Sun and Moon. Just like, doing wonder trade. Which I'm so glad they brought back in this game. Okie dokie. Getting married tomorrow. It's happening! And after our wedding, I'm gonna end the stream there. A baby! We've added a new boy to our family. Thank you very much for your kind thoughts. Both mother and child are healthy. Please come see the vibrant smile of our son when you get the chance. I'm immediately gonna do that because their kid Matt is my fucking favorite. He's the cutest one and if you become friends with him he'll come hang out with your kid and teach your kid how to fish and I love it. It's very sweet. So we might befriend the kids so they hang out with our kids. Because that would be pretty cute to see. Look at all my babies. Anybody who's new to this series, um, if your animals win the animal contest, they get a little crown on their head for the rest of their life. So you know my girl Pedro is gonna get one in spring. I will be shocked, absolutely baffled, if she does not win the animal competition. Our friendship is maxed out. Like, that is what increases your chances. Is maxing out your friendship, so. And then we should win the pet contest, too. I don't think your pet gets a little crown. 
They should. But they don't. You know what? My pet might be mad at me because I haven't really played with him. My pets. No, he still loves me. I gotta keep training my other pets, too. I just don't do it on stream because it takes a while to take care of each of them. But off stream, I do. So don't worry, they're not being neglected. Alright. Did any grow over here? Yes, they did. doing this correctly. I usually come from the other side. I'll be honest with you, I'm like barely gonna grow crops once we hit hero rank. It just takes up so much time and energy. And we're not really gonna need money for much at that point, so... So entertaining watching me water my crops for 10 minutes in silence because I can't think of anything to say. I'm just thinking about Monster Hunter. I'm so excited to play it. I think the dogs in that game make a nice addition. They help you move through the map a lot quicker. I still like the Palicos too, but the dogs are nice. They look so dumb with their like little weapon they have in their mouth, but I love it. You know, they look stupid in the best way. That game is so fun. I already bitched about the armor, but I really, really enjoy that game, the rest of it. I like the mochi that you can customize, like your meal. I think that's a nice touch, too. Gosh, I would have just now been getting off of work if I stayed. So glad I didn't have to do that. I got to stream with all my buddies instead.
almost done. Our wedding is in like the middle of the night too. Because the wizard is very secretive. We don't have any guests at our wedding or nothing. Which is kind of a bummer because many of you have, have seen how fucking awesome and exciting the rival weddings are. And if we marry one of the normal boys, we get to go on a honeymoon, but we don't get to with the wizard. So that's a little disappointing, but... Still, he's a fucking wizard. Like, that's sick as hell. Alright, let's go. I really hope we get Kathy leveled up too. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to farm tomorrow at all. Cause usually on your wedding day, that's your whole day. You don't get to do anything else. Keep forgetting we don't have to talk to Luna anymore. Where's the mod to marry Hayden, huh? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. I love how I'm friends with like all the girls in this town and I none of them are going to be at my wedding. Open up. Hey girl. Would you like a yam in this trying time? Okay, bye. Alright. Let's visit our boy, and then we will go check out Renee and Toby's baby. Excuse me. And then... We will probably run to the forest, get a mushroom, and then come back home. That sounds like a good plan. Hello. You gonna say something about our wedding tomorrow? I know what I have to do to finish the game, thank you. No, he's saying the same thing. Okay. Back we go. Then, gosh, I guess Phoebe's gonna have her baby pretty soon. She's the next one. And then Selena and Luke got married, too. My back is starting to hurt. My chair at my desk is basically a kitchen chair and it is not comfortable.
time to meet the sweet baby boy. Knock, knock. Again with the framed cow photo. It makes sense here because this is a ranch, but... Oh, man. Look at him. These kids are so adorable. I can't wait until they're all grown up. You guys are gonna love them. Grab our little mushroom real quick. Because we want to give our hubby some gifts after we get married. Without having to come to the woods every day. It's nice that his favorite gift is so easy to get though. He's not especially hard to court, you just have to finish the green bell before you can. That's the only, like, complication. Putting a lot of rocks in my way today. Should be around here somewhere. Nope, next one. There you are. Alright, time to go home and go to bed, and then it's wedding day! Been thinking about my own wedding a lot, because our anniversary is tomorrow. That was a lot of fun. I don't remember a lot of it because so much was happening, it's all a blur. Not because I was drinking, I was not drinking. But yeah, that was a good day. Oh my god, the other day my favorite band released an album. Pretty lit. They're called AJR, and the uh, album is called OK Orchestra, I think. There's one song on there I don't like too too much, but the rest are so fucking good. Highly recommend them. Gosh, that startled me. Thank you so much for the follow! Welcome! Good to see you again. You're just in time. We're about to get married in this game. Or maybe you've been here the whole time. I don't know. I know, I'm so excited. This is not what I meant to click on. Oh, 
Alright, let's see how this goes. I see I married him once already up there, but I have no memory of how this how this works. We might go right into it, I don't know. Oh. Today is wedding day. Let's hurry to the church. We're not getting married till like nighttime. Alright, y'all, you ready? This is the moment we've been waiting for. Holy shit. So that's our whole day gone, I guess. Do we get any music? I guess not. Oh my god. This is so unsettling, it's just dead silent. We look cute as hell, though. Okay. It's a simple, simple wedding. Cute, we still get a wedding picture at least. This is more like a funeral, yeah. Well the thing the thing about it is that this wizard is like thousands of years old and very secretive. So Oh that's right. He told us before that like nobody knows his name. He only wants to he only wanted to tell us his name after we pledged our love for one another. So we're about to find out his name. Buckle up. It's Gale. Aww. This is so cute. Now we're just married. I guess that's it. I'm gonna end the stream there. Oh, we have new music now in our house. Oh, I love this music. Cute! Let's give him a little prezi. Yeah. Where'd you go? Here you are. Hello. I know. Say something new. I know. I was always alone was worried if I would be able to get along with you. I'm glad that I can. That's good. Here's a mushroom for you. We have to get him to 14 hearts. Holy shit. We only need to get him to one more heart before we can have a kid with him. So that's cool. I thought we were gonna start at like 10 and have to work our way up, but we start at 13, so that's not going to take much work. Things are moving very fast. That's how this game works. There he is! There's our boy! Cute. Alright, I mean, I, that's all I said I was going to do today, so it's already almost 9pm here, so I'm about ready to get off anyway. But this was so exciting! What a fun stream! We did so much today. We got Luna engaged, we went on a date, and then we got married. We saw Maya confess her feelings for Chase. Congrats, thank you. Thank you. I love how there's more hype for this wedding than my actual wedding anniversary tomorrow. Love that for me. Joseph's not a wizard, so, you know, it's... You can only get so excited. But <laughs> thank you, everybody, for watching, everybody for stopping by, um, everybody who followed, everybody who's lurking. I appreciate you all very much. We're going to go ahead and raid somebody, and that's going to be it for today. I'm going to stream opening Pokemon cards, Shining Fates, and Battle Styles tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
So if you are available for that, I would love it if you stopped by. Alright, I will see you guys then, and talk to you later. Bye!